Forward lay operations are a common tactic used by many fire departments in the United States. While that allows us to lay our supply line quickly and efficiently, one of the major problems that it creates is there's friction in the supply line going from the hydrant to the fire scene. We're, hey, we're, we are out of water. And this resulted in a higher residual intake pressure at the fire scene. In our example here, we were able to flow the desired volume of water. Now on typical room and contents fires, this may not be an issue, but on your larger scale incidents that require higher fire flows, the fact that you do not have some sort of pumping apparatus at the hydrant from the beginning could be problematic. However, one of the things that many fire departments in the United States face is limited resources and they're not capable of assigning a supply pumper to the hydrant from the beginning to pump the hydrant from the initial stages of the operation. This is where a four-way hydrant valve comes into play and can allow us to do our traditional uh, forward lay while also allowing us to build a pumper into the system to boost pressure at a later point in time if the fire flow demands require it. One thing that we want to make sure that everybody understands is that the initial arriving pumper does not necessarily need to be the one performing the forward lay. A forward lay tactic implies and refers to the practice of stopping at your water source, in this case a fire hydrant, laying a supply line from that water source to the fire scene. Some jurisdictions may choose to have that be the initial attack pumper. Other jurisdictions may have that be the second or third arriving pumper because they may be employing tactics such as the booster backup and they prefer to have the initial attack engine go directly to the fire scene without laying a supply line so they can initiate the uh, fire attack off of their tank water. Regardless of who lays the supply line, if a forward lay application is going to be employed, your best friend is going to be this four-way hydrant valve. What the four-way hydrant valve allows us to do is initiate the fire attack off of hydrant pressure alone. And we're gonna to connect to this two-fire port. This allows water to come out of the fire hydrant and go directly to our fire scene here. If the friction in the line due to the flow rate and or the distance limits the full capability and volume that this hydrant is capable of delivering, we can assign a later arriving pumper to position appropriately, make the appropriate connections going to their pump intake and coming from their uh, large diameter discharge. And then this pumper is able to transition and receive water from the hydrant, add pressure using their pump, and boost the pressure to deliver the volume desired to the fire scene. What is important for the viewer to understand is that this tactic with this piece of equipment is only beneficial if the fire hydrant has the volume of water to give. If the volume of water is not in the hydrant to begin with, then boosting the pressure isn't going to do anything because there's no volume to give at the fire scene. There is no magical wizard that lives in this device that just creates water, okay? The water has to be in the hydrant in order for this to work. So the first step in this process is going to be for an engine to stop at the hydrant and perform a forward leg. The first supply engine that's going to be deploying the supply line is going to stop at the hydrant. And as you can see in this video, what we wanna make sure that that engine operator does, we wanna make sure they pull past the hydrant sufficiently so that way um, the tailboard is past the hydrant, the firefighter that is dismounting is able to um, uh, clear the hose bed and appropriately wrap the, uh, the four-way valve and the supply line around the hydrant and then uh, they're in a good position to be able to lay out. You'll also notice that our uh, hydrant 
uh, firefighter is going to be dropping a hydrant bag that contains whatever pieces of equipment that your jurisdiction uses to make a hydrant connection. This can vary from place to place. Once the four-way valve is left at the fire hydrant and the supply line is wrapped around appropriately, the hydrant firefighter is going to go ahead and signal to the driver operator to perform their forward lay. Some jurisdictions that are short staffed, you may have to do this with one person, which would be the driver operator. So it really doesn't matter whether you're uh, you know, staffed with uh, multiple members on your company or short staffed. The point is the four-way valve and the supply line are gonna be left at the hydrant and we're gonna do our forward lay to the fire scene. Once at the fire scene, the uh, engine operator is gonna position appropriately, engage their pump, and their firefighters are gonna deploy an attack line and initiate their fire attack. We are gonna start our fire attack off of our booster tank initially, just like we would any other fire scene. Once that initial attack line is deployed and the line is charged, the firefighter can go ahead and start fighting fire. The operator at that point is gonna go ahead and disconnect the supply line from their hose bed and connect it to an intake on the pumper. At this point, they are ready to receive water from the hydrant. So when, when we charge the hydrant, right, there's gonna be all this air in the supply line. That air can't enter the pump, that's bad for it. So we need to make sure we bleed the air before we open the intake. That's what this bleeder valve here is for. It's gonna sound like a jet engine. And you're gonna see in this video where we make the hydrant connection using the four-way valve. The supply line simply is connected to the two fire ports. The firefighter appropriately flushes the hydrant, makes the appropriate connections, places a gate valve on the side port, and when they are ready for water at the fire scene and the engine operator of the attack engine says that they are ready for water, the firefighter at the hydrant can go ahead and open the hydrant, charge the supply line, and give water to the attack engine. For 90% of your fires, or maybe even a higher percentage of that, you may not have to do anything else, okay? You may simply use this four-way valve, this Oasis valve, as a big hydrant adapter to make the supply line connection directly to the steamer port. However, regardless of whether or not you have any intentions of boosting the pressure, if you invest in a four-way hydrant valve, you should get in the habit of always connecting it to the hydrant anytime you perform a forward lay. This is gonna give you a way out in case things go south and we need to boost the pressure and deliver more of the volume to the fire scene. As you can see in this video, we start uh, our initial attack with a hand line and then we increase our fire flow using a blitz fire for a flow rate of about 500 gallons per minute. Increasing the flow rate, to the flow rate to this amount with the amount of hose that we put on the ground and due to the friction in that hose, we dramatically dropped our residual intake pressure on the pumper. All right, we got water coming in from the hydrant. Okay, we're gonna start flowing and increasing our volume downstream, okay? But to get to our pressure because of the friction loss in the line between where, uh, yeah where our hydrant is and where we are, this is gonna drop. So now we're getting to the point where, hey, we're, we are out of water. We're out of water, so that, that's all we got. So now we'll go to the hydrant and we will see what that pressure gauge is reading to indicate that we have water available at the hydrant, but it can't overcome the friction loss in the leg flow what we want. We have nothing left at the uh, fire scene because of the friction loss in the line. The, uh, the layout that we have is simulating a 1300 foot lay of five inch hose. Okay, this hydrant has a little bit more volume, but it is only at 30 pounds. So this hydrant isn't designed to overcome the friction loss in this supply line. So what the Oasis valve is going to allow us to do is pull that pumper up, hook into the hydrant and actually overcome the friction in the system by adding the boost pumper. Okay, the key about the four-way Oasis valve 
is that it allows that process to take place without interrupting the flow of water to the fire scene. That's the major advantage of this valve and that's why we, uh, we want to use it on our fire scene any chance we perform a forward lay from a water source. This is where you see in the video the crown point engine positioning appropriately, engaging their pump, and making the appropriate connections to the four-way valve and to their pumper. One of the mnemonics that I like to remember when I'm using my four-way valve, because it can be a little intimidating looking at this four-way valve of knowing where to connect. So, we know that in our basic firefighting classes, we are taught to turn a fire hydrant on standing behind the hydrant, like I am now. So I remember that I make my connection going into the pumper, that's on the right side. I go right into the pump because I don't like being left out. So the right connection goes to the pump intake, the left connection goes from the large diameter discharge to the valve. That is coming back to the valve to boost the pressure. Once the connections are appropriately made, the operator is gonna go ahead and manipulate this hand crank here. And this hand crank is going to allow water to flow two ways out of the valve, straight to the fire scene, but it's also going to allow water to flow into the intake side of the boost pumper. And at this point, the four-way valve is nothing but a giant Y. Okay, one of the best and coolest features of this valve is that there's an internal clapper valve here in the four-way valve. At this point in, this, in the operation, the clapper valve is closed off on this side and water is flowing straight through to the fire scene and it is also going to the boost pumper's intake. When the boost pumper opens their intake and charges their discharge and builds a sufficient pressure, you will see that this clapper valve claps over. And that indicates that all the water from the hydrant is leaving the hydrant and entering the relay pumper. Pressure is being added at the relay pumper and it is being sent to the fire scene to deliver the volume that is required at the fire scene itself. And this resulted in a higher residual intake pressure at the fire scene in our example here. And what you will notice is that we were able to flow the desired volume of water. I need you to get when he charges this line, this clapper valve right now is indicating that we are sending all the pressure, all the pressure from the hydrant is going straight through to the fire seat. When Bubba charges the line and starts boosting the pressure, the internal clapper valve here is gonna clap over to indicate that the water that is at the lower pressure from the hydrant is gonna enter the pump. The pump is gonna add pressure to overcome friction and send it on down the, to the fire scene, which is in turn gonna raise the residual intake pressure at the fire scene. So that is signifying that he is now tied in and boosting pressure down there. 